Okay, so I've cut up about four chicken breasts, cooking it with some Italian seasonings and chopped garlic. About three tablespoons of each. I like it to get a lot of strong flavors in it. We're going to let this cook and we're going to start on the pasta. Okay, so we got the water started for the pasta. Here's the pasta I'll be using. Number 86. Throw some in there. Now I'm making quite a bit, so I need quite a bit of it. Okay, the pasta is in. We're going to add a pinch of salt and a little bit of olive oil. Let me get that. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of salt in. That should be enough. We're going to add a little bit of oil. That should be enough. And we're going to let this cook. The chicken is ready. You want to start your pasta off with cold water. You don't want to throw it in hot water because it'll make it get mushy and sticky. So start it off with cold water, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to make it stop from sticking. Be right back. Make sure that you stir your pasta at least once every 10 minutes just to make sure that it's not getting stuck to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. The pasta's ready. I'm going to turn it off, get the chicken ready, and I'm going to show you how to put it in the pan and take care of it. Be right back. Okay, so I've added the pasta and I've added some chicken. I'm going to pour in about half a, half a cup of chicken broth. It's plain old chicken broth. Sprinkle a little bit of pepper on it. And then we're going to add the sauce. Let me get those open. So I've added one jar. Now I'm adding another. And I like to use the marinara sauce instead of the spaghetti sauce. It just gives it a better flavor. Now I'm going to mix it all up. Okay, so I'm going to start putting the mozzarella cheese on top. I've had, I got it all mixed up. Now I'm going to add freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Well, it's, it's fresh grated Parmesan cheese, but it comes in a bag. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this one and I'm going to make another one. So, this is the first one and it's done before it gets cooked. Let me show you the next one. Because it's all the same ingredients except for the sauce. Okay, so here's the other pan. I put the pasta in. I put the rest of the chicken in. Now, I'm going to put some more chicken broth in this one. Now, I'm going to put some sauce in it. Let me get that open. Okay, so this one's going to have the Alfredo sauce. I'm pouring in two cans again. Two jars of Alfredo sauce. As you can see, this Alfredo sauce doesn't look like it's got many spices in it. So I'm going to add a little bit more Italian seasonings. 
a little pepper, and a little salt. I'm going to mix it all up, show you in just a bit. Okay, so here we go. It's all mixed up, putting the mozzarella cheese on top. My rule is usually about three handfuls of cheese up on top and then one or two handfuls of the Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top of that. And voila! There you go. Now I'm going to cook both and then I'll show you the end result. Thank you. I hope you've been able to follow with me. Okay, so they just came out of the oven. Peek. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Right, let's try the other one. Look at that. Oh yeah. Gonna be some happy eaters in my family tonight. They were in the oven for about 35 minutes at 400 degrees. I covered them so that they don't get too dry. Hope you like the recipe. Leave a comment if you do. Thank you for watching.